hello friends welcome back to industry learning and uh, today i am going to start uh, to design a sheet metal parts on nx and uh, it will be as basic as possible means basically it is for beginner and uh, uh, day by day means after a few sessions i will make it uh, advanced uh, and uh, after then you can go uh, to level up uh, if you are already knowing these things and all so uh, for beginners uh, I would like to say that you don't have to skip this video you have to watch this fully uh, because initial uh, in initial days you might feel some sort of boring things or whatever but once you came to uh, see some uh, two or three sessions then definitely you will be aware about all these things all these commands and all after then you will feel really interesting this uh, like design in nx so just uh, stay connected with uh, coming 12 to 15 minutes or uh, might be less also between 10 to 15 minutes whatever and you don't have to skip as well you don't have to uh, stop the video to see so you just continue watching and uh, i guarantee you once you complete the session then you will learn how to uh, start uh, drawing on nx and all and later on you will see a lot of things definitely so today I will teach you how to uh, design uh, sheet metal parts like this in NX uh, using some basic command like uh, tab flange and counter flange. So just let's start. And before that, I should uh, say you that uh, if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe right now. Just go and subscribe, and uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, share also with your friends and all because like i am if i am providing the effort means if we uh, more person will get benefited then it i will feel motivation so definitely don't forget to share okay friends so let's start and uh, i should clear you that uh, this is uh, basically i am going to start from a uh, scratch means from as basic as possible i am going to start means if you are not having any idea about uh, uh, how to draw or how to even open a part in nx like that i will consider and uh, even you have any doubt regarding this season then don't forget to comment in comment box so let's start so first all first of all we will click on this new and uh, then we will see some option here and apart from this all list we will select sheet metal because we are going to work on sheet metal parts uh, design so after then we will click here on ok and uh, once we click here then we will get this interface so friends let me clear you that this interface is basically designed for sheet metal parts only and uh, after then uh, we will see another modules also a lot of module we will see like how to design a uh, press tools and all for this and after then we will uh, further and all whatever is there we will uh, see but today our sessions is for sheet metals and so you should be very familiar to this all interface okay friends so let's start uh, with a uh, new parts as i have shown and uh, for that we have to click here on new and uh, then we will select here on sheet metal like uh, you can see here a lot of uh, options is there but you have to go on sheet metals only and then click ok like uh, as we are uh, going to design a sheet metal parts so for that only we selected sheet model and you can see all these are an interface for designing a sheet metal parts only so first of all i would uh, like to uh, clear you that uh, this session is basically uh, i have made uh, keeping the beginners in mind so if uh, you have uh, uh, some sort of knowledge then definitely it might be get as revision for you and later on after few sessions i will advance up my uh, this tutorial then you can know some new things uh, or like that and uh, today if you are beginner means absolutely for you so let's start uh, and for that first of all we have to select on this tab and uh, this tab you will find you can find here this is under uh, home tab and uh, basically uh, one thing i should uh, clear you that in previous session i have told about uh, this user interface of nx in that i have uh, told you that this is the first of uh, this is quick access tool 
bar and this one the second uh, row uh, that is uh, tab and uh, this is the third one where a lot of options see there this is g1 and this one uh, at left side this is the resources bar like this uh, this is called and so as i have told the second one is tab and this is also tab but you should not get confused this tab is basically uh, one of the interface and this tab is command so here uh, you have to click on this uh, tab command and uh, then here you can define the thickness like uh, it's 3 mm and it's okay and uh, here you can you have to click sketch selection once you have done with this you have to click okay and uh, then you can see that you are on xy plane and uh, after then you have to click here for orientation and here you can take this as top orientation and you can use uh, control alt and t also for uh, shortcut if you want keyboard shortcut directly you can use and uh, then now we will take a rectangle for that you have to click here under home tab you have to you can see this option uh, this rectangle and uh, once you select this you have to click here from center you can see these three options here one is by two point uh, second one by three points and the third one this is from center so you have select you have to select this only because i will uh, make this using center rectangle so once you select it at the center and then you can uh, uh, this uh, you can draw like this and once you have uh, made the width then you can uh, go for height and width like uh, whatever and then like once you will finished with this then you have to make the dimension clear so whatever the dimension here suppose uh, this is 142.1 so i have to make this uh, somehow like uh, 150 so i made this 150 enter and i have to change this dimension also and i want to make this dimension 100 and for that and i have to change this dimension also and for, uh, i want to make this dimension 100 for that i will click this dimension So I want me I want to make this hundred. So I just clicked. Okay. So let me refine it at proper place. Okay. So and I have to change this dimension also. So I will click it here and. Uh, after double click i will make this as 100 once you click we have to and uh, to enter and that's all so we have completed uh, one rectangle with a proper dimension like 150 and 100 and uh, then we will finish the scale like uh, this once you finish again you have you will get one option for uh, providing thickness so like i will take this as 3mm it's okay and if you want to change then you can change it like 2mm 1mm whatever the thickness you want to keep it for the seat so 3mm is okay for me and uh, then i will click okay so you can see i have one like sheet uh, ready and uh, the further operation will do over here so <laughs> So you have uh, used here the tab command first and the second command that I am going to use here that is flange command. So how we will use the flange command. So let us uh, see. So for that I will click on flange command and uh, after then like uh, this is 80 like how much uh, this have to go. I will make this 50 and uh, then this is angle 90 okay inside material everything is okay and you can select this edge like at which edge you have to make so i have selected this means you can see this uh, have been made and now I, I will choose this edge also so let me zoom so that i can see clearly this i can show you also clearly and uh, so successfully we have made this using flange command right so it was so easy and uh, now 
uh, we'll click here just okay so this was the basically angle that at what angle you want to make this lens you can change this angle and uh, according to that you can see the result got it yes so friends now i'm going to use the third command that is control lens and uh, for this we have to click here and then we have to select a select section and then path we have to define here and uh, for that we will select uh, suppose uh, this path and uh, we will take this at top and once uh, we will take it and we will done ok then this will come here somewhat and after then we have to like make it uh, um, whatever sketch and according to that the contour will be created so suppose we uh, create some line uh, along this and uh, the line of length uh, say 25 and uh, after then uh, like we have to finish the line command and uh, let's draw one curve and uh, for that we'll find the center and that is end point and uh, <coughs> suppose this are like something like this this is not that much and uh, you can see here this is uh, already came like uh, tangent and uh, now we will finish it here with uh, this mode and you can see it's like So we saw here three main uh, command like tab, lens and control lens. So friends we have completed uh, uh, this drawing as I have uh, <coughs> shown you earlier. This is same uh, like that I have made this and uh, so this was a just basic uh, like uh, the first session uh, how to draw simple sheet metals in an X. So, that's all for today friends, uh, we'll continue from here on next session notes and we'll see the remaining commands how uh, these works and uh, how uh, we can make some complicated parts and all as well as with uh, uh, further we will see press tool, progressive tool, compound tool all uh, like this type of uh, things and uh, we'll design the mold also and uh, it will take time but we'll definitely uh, see here everything definitely we will cover here everything and uh, one more important thing that uh, uh, don't forget to press like uh, uh, for these videos and all because th these videos and all uh, definitely taking much effort from us and uh, if uh, you hit like and share with your friends then definitely it will be a motivation for us and uh, that's all uh, you don't have to do anything just grab whatever knowledge uh, is get being provided here so that's all thank you yeah and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel thank you